Hey everyone, and welcome to the next part of Star Ocean The Last Hope International. In the last part, Raimi is apparently, well, Raimi is apparently sick, and we need to go find the remedy, which we need to take the canal barge to Astral to go inquire about. So, without any delay, let us make our way there. Oi, I just finished, finished fixing up the barge. You can hop on right now if you like. Stop next, and only stop at the city of Astral. You know, judging by the girl with the wings, you're certainly not an average bunch of tours. How about I let you ride for free, eh? Just this once? Cool! Perfect, all aboard! I like free rides. That's cool. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Sarah, I guess. But yes, cutscene time. This is going to be a cutscene heavy episode, likely. I still haven't decided how I'm doing this part. Has Raimi's condition changed at all? She's sleeping soundly in the cabin. Limel and Bacchus are watching over her. They traded places with us. Her condition is stable, and well, I can't say much oh for Limel. God, they're Raimi mowing will the lawn safe again. Bacchus caring for her. I see. I already well, hear that's that. good to hear. Uh. We are really indebted to you, Miss Gerand. If you hadn't spoke up about the remedy, then... And especially after I was so awful to you the other day. Oh, it doesn't bother me at all. And please, just call me Sarah, okay? Thank you, Sarah. <sighs> hey, Sarah, are there a lot of other chickens out there like you? Uh, uh, I'm not a chicken. I'm Feather Folk. What? Feather Folk? What's that? Is that the name of your race? That's right. Sometimes people refer to us as the Sacred Wings. All my kin flit about the skies of our enclave with ease, but me, I can't fly at all. Did For me, these things are just a decoration. I don't deserve the name Sacred Wings. Are you just that <laughs> What do you think? Are all the feather folk like this? Good question. We feather folk have had amicable relations with the king for many generations. When we arrive at Astral Castle, I'll entreat the king. He's very kind, so I'm sure he'll let us have the remedy right away. Does he control access to the medicine? Yes. In the past, the remedy was traded for very high prices. All the poor turned to stone, and the continent was facing certain ruin. But that crisis served as a lesson. Now the to king manages everyone? all of the antidote and sells it cheaply to anyone who needs it. Wow, he sure sounds like a nice king. Yes, he's a wonderful king. I'm sure you'll all like him. Look up ahead. That's his castle there. Ooh, fancy. God damn it. Why did I pick now to record? Thank God. Finally, Raimi will be okay. I was so afraid I'd made another terrible mistake. Edge, you're all going to the Purgatorium, right? That was our plan. Well, if you are, would you mind stopping over in Trop for a while? Trop? Trop? It's a port town on the west coast of this continent. In fact, I was on my way to Trop to meet a certain person when I ran into all of you. We've been out of contact for so long, and there's something I must discuss with her. Um, and who might that be? Her name is Elena Ferenc. <gasps> what did you say? Elena Ferenc meow? That's what she said, Are you Miracle. talking about the great sage, the holy maiden, Lady Elena? Huh? Great Sage? When I was really, really young, I read about her in a picture book, Elena and the Feline Gourmand. What kind of book is that? In the story, the holy maiden Elena brings a gluttonous cat with her and goes around saving people in trouble with her incredible powers. 
Lady Elena was beautiful and kind and wise and pure. And she devoted her life to helping people, helping the world. What do you think? Honestly, I can't say. It could be nothing more than a picture book. It may have nothing to do with a real person. It does! Lady Elena really existed. She led a whole bunch of her followers to, like, save the world. Uh, this well, is sounding more and more dubious. In any event, this... Lady Elena still seems to be alive. Miss hmm? Elena is a seer with true powers of divination. She's helped so many people who lost their way by showing them the guidepost they needed to get back on track. People who lost their way. Eh, they're just giving ideas. How about you try speaking with her too, Edge? You might find yourself feeling a bit better. That would be perfect. The Holy Maiden Lady Elena can see the future. It said so in my picture book. Putting that aside for the moment, Sarah is extending us her kindness, and I believe we should take it to heart. Only after Raimi has recovered, of course. Yeah, you're right. Sounds like a good idea. Guideposts. Hmm. And we are arriving in the lovely, lovely Astral City. This is our other major city in here, but not as major as Tatroy. Tatroy is our major, major city in Rogue. But, yep. Stop, do you? No, oh, she really? doesn't. I'm fine. After all, something like this can't kill me. Kill you? Don't say things can't like that. Can't kill you. What? I'm sorry. All right, uh, Raimi, don't talk like that. It's not good to talk like that. Raimi. This is strange. What is strange, Miss Sarah? I'm curious about the rate of advance of the stone sickness. Her symptoms began with almost no incubation period, and now the rate of advance is unusually slow. Yes, stone sickness usually has a long incubation period, and once symptoms show, it advances quickly. Well... I suppose it doesn't matter, as long as she's cured. Then right. I'd have preferred you not mention it at all. Now, now, now. Off to the king's castle! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. And they begin imitating each other. Awesome! So as I was saying, welcome to... Astral. Yup. Get used to being here. Because. Yeah. Get used to being here. So. so I guess I'm thinking of the other. I'm thinking of the other one. But yeah. Um. I still don't decide what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna explore. Yeah. We'll take care of the next cutscene in the next video. So. Let's talk to these lovely guys. She's crying. Oh, and she's crying too. God damn it, what do I have to do it now? Hello, hello, we got lots of good food. Cool. By lots of good food, you mean shop orders. 
that we can pick up and turn in in like forever from now. Except for that one. Turn in that one now. Let's see. I swear to God. I'm gonna just talk over it. That way you can't hear it as much. But pick up some sweet fruit while you're here. You'll thank me later. I'm just gonna pick up some uh, natal too. And XP. Actually, I think this is why I'm usually like, eh, I don't want to turn in stuff now, but it really, in the long run, it doesn't matter that too much, because it's like not, it's not a huge amount of um, XP and stuff, so it's up to you if you want to turn it in now or wait till after we get Raimi back, but I'm just going to turn it in now with the treasure chest. We have a treasure chest, which is a swept tilt. Okay. Whatever. It's a treasure chest. So... Huh, this looks like the weapon shop. What's up with you? This is the worst pun er, pinch I've ever found myself in since opening the shop. <laughs> I guess I better sell it. get myself silver first. Yeah, I'm the- apparently I do, do not do drunk voices. I guess. Okay. So yeah, how are you all today? Today is currently the... What is today? Crap, I don't know. 21st of September! Oh my dear lord, September is almost over! What's going on? Like, seriously, what is going on here? Uh, the wind's certainly picking up, kicking up today. Okay. That's nice to know. It's down here. What do you have to say? Ooh, so hungry. Need food. Thanks for mentioning I'm hungry too. Thanks for letting all my viewers know that I am currently hungry. But yeah, uh, the good news is, guys, I go to orientation for Shopco on Tuesday. And I'm going to be busy Monday, but that's beside the point. So we have a uh, cursed chest here again. Can't open that one for a while. My husband's a knight over in the castle. It's always a toss up whether he makes it home or not every night. Sometimes I really wish he'd ditch it all and find a new career. Oh, that's uh, lovely to say about your husband. Like, especially in this economy, lady. Unless your economy's like better than us. If he has a job, I'd say keep the job. Like, don't ditch the job. Like, seriously. What do you have to say? Uh, no, man, this is rough. We're fighting body is seasick right now. Oh, wow. Sorry to hear that, buddy. I hope you feel better soon. What do we have here? Monster Jewel! Uh -huh, I haven't even played with those at all. Uh, oh, hey. Hi. Welcome to the Kingdom of Astral. I am Leos Warren. The Australian Royal Knights charged with protecting this country and its future. Nice to meet you, bu buddy. It's headquarters. Day and day, uh, stay on guard. Okay. Uh, what we'll have over here? Ooh, there's someone over here. And there's another blocked path. Interesting. Hmm. Sorry, but actual caves are off limits to travelers. No, you're curious now, but I'm just doing my job. Hey, hey, at least you're doing your job. Um, I'll credit you there. You're doing your job. There's some pretty fearsome monsters lurking inside, unless you have tons of battle experience. Hey! What? Who do, you, who do you think I am? I have tons of battle experience. Well, Edge does. I'm speaking for Edge here. I'm not speaking for myself. Oh, what's a little girl doing here? Hee hee hee. Uh, little girl, should I be going home? Like, it's not safe to be wandering the streets alone. Just saying, you know. Looking out for your well-being here. Uh, this is the Astral Castle. We owe the peace to the king. So we for our future when it was a knight, but now I see nothing to worry about. Well, that's good. Uh, a knight must pledge absolute obedience to his king. I I'm glad our this pretty nice guy, though. It's a, a nice bonus. I, uh, you better work on your speech there if you're a knight, buddy. Fear since I realized my dream. That's cool, at least you realize your dream. I feel like you're missing out on something. So it's something you realize you're dreaming, they stop being, being dreams. Yeah, that's... I guess that's kind of how it works. Like, you realize your dream, and then it's... What else you supposed to do? I mean... You've got your dreams, so... I 
mean, really. And there's nothing else around here. So, in the next part, we will head into Astral Castle. I love you all. Thank you all for watching, and see you all in the next part.